All right, today I wanted to take another look at the iGPU and the Ryzen 7700X CPU. I know these APUs are not designed for gaming, but they were definitely rough when the Ryzen 7000 CPUs launched. Since then, the ASRock motherboard that I'm using, the X670E PG Lightning, has seen many BIOS updates, including higher power allowance for the iGPU and GPU overclocking as well as just general DDR5 and Expo improvements. Oh, and PBO as well. I ran the iGPU through TimeSpy stock and overclocked, and I checked out the 720p desktop and 1080p desktop Final Fantasy XIV benchmark. Seems like the overclock really did help out, at least in TimeSpy and Final Fantasy. The overclock consisted of setting the CPU to PBO standard, at least for the X670E from setting expo settings which were 5600 mt cl36 along with the 4 gig frame buffer and raising the igpu's core speed from 2200 megahertz to 2400 megahertz this gained us about 100 points on average in time spy so we went from about 800 points combined to 900 points combined on average as for the Final Fantasy XIV benchmarks at desktop quality, they were still a little rough, but it was playable. You're definitely looking at probably a sub-console-like experience. I would say it's definitely playable if you really want a game, but you're probably limited to 720p in my opinion. Some of the scenes were getting into the low to mid 30s on the high end of the FPS range, but the drops were kind of rough. I did see quite a few drops that went down into the low 20s and some that were even in the teens. If for some reason you have to play games with your iGPU, maybe you're in between graphics cards or you're saving up for one, I would definitely recommend that you're on the latest BIOS available for your motherboard to make sure you get any and all improvements that are available. After that, I would definitely enable Expo for your memory kit. Make sure that memory is clocked up as high and stable as you can get it. Then don't forget to increase the frame buffer for the iGPU. I think by default mine was set to like 512. I would probably go to at least two or four gigabytes. In my case, I was able to overclock the iGPU with a later BIOS. So I did end up raising that core speed from 2200 to 2400 megahertz. And I was able to do that in a stable manner without increasing any voltages. So that was kind of nice. Esports titles like CSGO, League of Legends, that kind of thing, they probably are gonna run fine at 720p. You might even be able to get away with 900p or maybe 1080p, but probably at the lowest settings, and it probably won't be buttery smooth. If you have FSR available in your game and you don't mind the picture quality issues that FSR tends to cause at lower screen resolutions, then generally speaking, that's definitely going to help bring up your frame rate. So all in all, while it's not ideal, it is something that you can fall back on if you had to sell your GPU or if you're saving up for a GPU and you just don't have one right now. I thought this was kind of interesting. It was something that I was thinking about. At launch, my motherboard had a very low power limit for the iGPU and it didn't even have overclocking. So I thought this was kind of cool. Let me know what else you're interested in seeing in the comment section below. Definitely head down to the description to check out parts in the build. Until next time, stay overclocked.